the amazing thing with these with these little uh, uh, lumps of resin is is yes you can get uh, the human DNA out but in addition we were also able to recover uh, uh, what is essentially an ancient oral microbiome so we were able to extract um, next to the human DNA also uh, uh, microbial DNA um, and uh, you know, comparing it to um, uh, uh, modern databases, we, we, we could basically establish that um, it very much looks like an oral, oral microbiome. And that makes sense because, you know, she, she chewed on that in her, in her mouth. Um, and this is, this is interesting uh, for us um, from an evolutionary perspective because it gives us uh, an insight into the state of our ancestral oral microbiome. So what our oral microbiome looked like 6,000 years ago. And that's fascinating for a number of reasons, but also because it has changed the, the microbial communities that we, that we, you know, that we live with, that live in us uh, and with us, um, you know, they have changed over, over time due to various different um, uh, processes like the coming of farming, for instance, and, 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 and those kind of things. The microbial DNA, the human DNA, and what was also fascinating, in addition to this, we were also able to recover um, DNA uh, from uh, different species that probably relate to, to her diet. So a, a, a meal that she recently uh, consumed. So um, we were able to recover um, DNA from, from, from duck um, and eel. Uh, and we know from the archaeology from the site, uh, uh, Sultorm, uh, that, that uh, those species were exploited at that, at that site because um, we have lots of evidence from the archaeology for that. But it just, you know, it, it's, it's, it's nice to also have that because it gives us an insight into her diet and subsistence strategies, which, you know, we were unable to get before. You can also say something about uh, diseases from the microbes that you, that you pull out. In her case, um, uh, the poor girl was infected apparently with a herpes virus. So she had a particular um, form of, of, a, of, a, of a herpes virus um, that we recovered as well. Um, but we didn't find any, um, you know, uh, more, more serious pathogens.